hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you the second part of the video like how i paint the illustration now quickly moving to the product i've used all product links are given in the description you can check them out so now let's just start painting the fashion illustration and if you haven't watched the first part of the video i'll put the link on the i button or in the description box i'll mention you can go and check that out both the paper and the color are of same brand name brastro and as mentioned before these are 300 gsm cold pressed papers which i always use here for the dupatta i use three green shades mid green sap green and fallow green uh, i obtain this beautiful bottle green shade and with the help of this flat tip brush i'll be applying the paint i'll be mentioning the shade names paint brush sizes uh, on the screen to avoid any kind of confusion talking about these acrylic colors it's very easy to use and are of thick consistency highly pigmented as compared to the watercolor and poster colors it gets dries up very fast and makes it easy to do any details on top of the base color. For the base color of the lenga, again I'll be mixing three shades, white, cadmium orange hue shade and Alcerian crimson. Now it gives a beautiful guardsman red color. For applying any paint, I'll prefer flat tip brush than the round ones. Now I'll be using a black color for the borders as it will help my details look more eye catching. Be careful while painting the corners. Use a fine tip brush for painting that area if you feel little anxious or nervous uh, or else you can use the sides of the flat tip brushes. Uh, it works good. So I'll be using watercolor like glitter pigments which gets smudged easily so that's the reason why I'm doing the folds beforehand and I'll be doing two brush technique over here one for applying the paint and second one is the small flat tip brush for blending the color. Now for the details I'll be using Gansai Tambi Starry Colors. It's like watercolor glitter pigments. You can use glitter pen or metallic pens instead of this uh, Gansai Tambi. Now for doing this detail I'll be using this Red Tower Miniature Brush. This fine tip brush acts a wonder while making tiny precise detailing. It's like it's a must have brush. It can be used in any kind of art forms or designing. Our detailings on the dupatta are super simple we need to highlight it for that i'll be using a white color you need to use little of the color don't use much uh, as our main purpose is to highlight it not to make it as a base color so Now again for the detail I'll be using yellow, ochre and white. I'll pick those two colors and obtain a light shade for doing the details on the borders so that our main motive is to make it more eye catching as our base color is dark so we need to make it more attractive.
आ दुपट्टा इज डन लेट्स मूव टू दी लहंगा पार्ट आई बी डूइंग मल्टी कलर डिटेल्ड लहंगा फॉर दैट विल बी यूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कलर्स फॉर द बेबी पिंक शेड आई बी यूजिंग टू शेड्स वर मिलियन एंड वाइट आई मिक्स टू टू कलर एंड ओपटेन दिस शेड एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस रेटर्ड मिनियचर ब्रश आई बी डूइंग दी डिटेल्स Now for this light yellow shade I'll be using white and yellow ochre the same colors which I used for doing the details on the borders of the dupatta you need to use the exactly same shade Now for the light blue shade, I'll be using phalo blue and white. I'll mix those two colors and obtain the shade. And at last for the folds I'll be using this diluted black color and with the help of this two brush technique I'll be doing the folds of the lenga one for applying the paint and second one is the small flat tip brush for blending the color
here is the final look of the illustration do like share comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon with the very next video till then bye take care and thank you so much for watching